chance to follow Jesus, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm Grace. I'm the family outreach worker at Christ Church in Harbour Hay. Um, I've been on the Messy Church team for several years and I've been leading the ministry for the last year. Um, one thing that we love is, is the fact that members of the community really feel that it is their congregation. I mean, some people from the family have been coming since, since we started and inviting friends, inviting family. And um, a large proportion of our Messy Church team now is made up of people who are part of the local community weren't attending church beforehand but really feel that Messy Church is, is their family, it's their church family. So on a typical Messy Church we always have a theme and then we have usually about seven different crafts relating to that theme. So today we're looking at the vine and the branches and some of them are interactive, maybe prayer activities so they could write their name and hang it on the vine. Other ones are messy, you know, painting on easels, um, usually a cooking activity so they can be sort of tasting as well as as well as the sort of um, painting and, and other types of crafts. So that's the first part of the morning, um, very interactive, and then we have celebration time um, where we usually have drama or worship where we're, we're sort of exploring the story or the theme a bit more and then always eating together at the end. So if anybody says, what does it mean to be a Christian? Why are you getting baptised? What does it mean to be connected to Jesus like on a vine? It's saying, I receive your forgiveness. I know I've made mistakes, I want to be forgiven, and I want to follow you. So Mary's has been experiencing some quite significant growth in the last couple of years and it's largely come through young families. Um, Presswich is full of um, young families so it would be surprising if that wasn't where our growth had come from. And we've tried to try and meet people where they're at and try and meet their spiritual needs and their social needs. So about a year ago we started this preschool praise group because quite a large number of young people had started coming to church on a Sunday morning which is fairly formal, fairly traditional. And I sense that for some people that was quite a stressful experience. They wanted to offer something else as well. Welcome to our peaceful praise, sharing fun in many ways. Stories, facts, and songs to sing. With prayer and love and joy we bring. We believe that God longs for his church to grow. Um, so we prayed for inspiration and encouragement. We didn't sort of start off with a plan of what we were going to do, but we just waited on God for quite a long time, really, and listened um, to what God was saying to us. Um, and I think if, if that's the order in which you do things, then God will bless what, what you engage with. It's really welcoming and very, very friendly. Um, my daughter loves coming here. She always you know, whistles out for the church bells every week um, and gets very excited about coming and playing with the other children. Um, she loves the songs, the songs that we sing. She loves uh, doing the craft activity um, and mixing with the other boys and girls. And of course, the cake. <laughs> yeah, we, we really, really like the cake. Um, so I'd say it's really important to do something, just try things out, um, test things, um, and when you when you pray about what's the right thing to do, God will deeply and richly bless what you do. Has been our experience. So, and, and I think it's important to um, be appropriate to your context. For us, young families is what press which is all about. Um, so that was the right thing for us to start with. Um, but I think the starting point is that God longs for his church to grow and he's just waiting for us to take part in that.